Hi, in this video um, I'm going to show you how to install MATLAB on a uh, M1 MacBook Air. So first of all, log in into MATLAB and uh, download the software. So um, I can actually click the download button right there and select the version you want to have. I'm going for the most recent one. All right, and I'm picking Mac OS. Then, all right, I already downloaded it, so let's just skip this part. Then you go into your download folders right here um, and you select it. And this might actually take a while because MATLAB is still not optimized for Apple Silicon. Um, I have an indicator running here uh, so you can see whether or not we are actually running on ARM or on Intel. Okay, so let's see. There you go, and you can see MATLAB is actually running uh, on the Rosetta 2 here. All right, now let's enter my credentials here. If you have a network um, license, then you would need to enter the activation key here, but I am simply, I simply can use this. I stick to the uh, to the default in the destination folder. It's up to you where you want to install MATLAB to. Simply select all the toolboxes you need. Okay, and I actually uh, leave this uh, checked. And then you simply begin the install and this is going to take a while because uh, it's downloading all the toolboxes you need. The installation completed. Okay, so I'm going to close this and then I'm just gonna run MATLAB and simply watch this indicator, all right, whether or not this will run on Rosetta 2, the Intel compatibility layer or actual ARM. So for now, we are stick with the uh, Rosetta 2, but this will probably change when MATLAB updates. Now, okay, so what I then usually do is uh, I go through the preferences um, and make them accordingly what I like. For instance, I'm adding some other file extensions here as I am using Dynair. So <coughs> I'm adding the mode extension here. Um, I check whether or not my fonts look correct. And actually I don't use source control from Math MATLAB, but with a different software. And let's see uh, the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, looks good. All right apply. Okay. And that's it. You have a working MATLAB implementation. Um, let's see how good it performs. All right, there you go. Not too bad. Okay. For, um, we're all looking forward uh, to MATLAB being uh, native on Apple Silicon. But anyways, this will work for now, so have fun with this.